he may be broken but not destroyed nothing in your life is the way i will take you to the bible verse after these things jesus went over this to the sea of galilee which is the sea of tiberias then a great multitude followed him because they saw the signs which he performed and on those who were diseased. And Jesus went up to the mountains, and there he sat with his disciples. Now the Passover, the feast of the Jews, was near. Then Jesus lifted up his eyes, and seeing a great multitude coming towards him, he said to Philip, Where shall we buy bread that these may eat? But this thing he said to this thing he said to test him, for he knew already what he would do. Philip answered him and said, Two hundred denarii worth of bread is not sufficient for them, that every one of them may have a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, There is a lad here who has five bellies, loaves, and two small fish. But what are they among so many? Then Jesus said, May the people sit down. Now there was much ground, much grass in the place. So the men sat down in number about five thousand. And Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed them to the disciples, and the disciples to those sitting down, and likewise of the fish, as much as they wanted. So when they were filled, Jesus said to the disciples, Gather up the fragments that remain, so that nothing is lost. They therefore gathered them up, and filled twelve baskets with the fragments of the five belly loaves, which were left over by those who had eaten. So I'll bring this back to the context now. What are these fragments that were left over, that were gathered? In someone's life, fragments can be anything. Fragments can be pieces of your life that have been shattered by your relationship or by hardship or by sickness or by difficulty, whatever it is. Your fragments can be sickness, it can be depression, it can be addiction, it can be fear, it can be shame, it can be distress, whatever it is, it can be bankruptcy. God says you should gather them up and use it as a thing of testimony. Because when, when you're able to tell this story, that means you have already crossed this bridge. These fragments should not be left on the ground, should not be thrown away. Gather them up, gather them up, gather up all your fragments, the pieces of your life that is left, and pick it up and move ahead. The breasts were used for the people to eat. That is the good part of your life that you love. The times that you were happy, the times that things were working well. The fragments are those ones that you do not like, that you wish that never happened to you. But God assured us that life will not be without tribulations. But He said to us that He'll be with us even as we go through these tribulations. That is why we must trust God. You see, when you go through this verse again, you, you will understand why the need to be close to God is important. Because when you are close to God, you draw inner strength for such circumstances. People who are close to God are able to go to these challenges and come out with testimonies because they're holding on to the God's promises to their life and they know that these fragments will be used to God's glory and be used as a testimony that will transform other people's life. Your fragments can be a thing of joy. It can be a thing of hope for somebody else. Your fragments can rest restore you. It can become white with fragments. So it's okay to make mistakes. Have you made mistakes that you regret? You might make mis mistakes over again, but it becomes unwise or foolish for you to make foolish mistakes over and over again. What have you gone through in life? The challenges, the trials, the temptation. The Bible says, count it all joy when you face various trials and temptation. That was written in the book of James. So whatever you go through in life was there for a purpose. You find out the purpose that it's happened to you. Because in that trial, there's something God is trying to teach you. That's something God is trying to teach your spouse or your, or your family. There's God, something God is trying to show you you can do better in business. That's why even when God knows what he plans to do for the people that they may eat, he still asks them, his disciples, where can he get bread? Knowing he can just feed the people without having to go buy bread. So it means that in the midst of everything, there's always God's plan in every circumstance. Whether it's a good one or a bad one, there's nothing void of God's understanding. God knows why you are going through it and he's going there through it with you and he's going to make you come out of it better person. All right. I know as I listen to this word now, you are thinking about the feelings in your heart. You're thinking about your experiences. Those you think we may never wake up from. 
if you're watching me right now, it means you have hope. It means that there is a second chance for you. This world is going to go to your heart this moment and heal your wounds, heal your emotional wounds, your financial wounds. Whatever way you feel you are being battered by life circumstance, whatever way life has bring so much hardship to you, I pray that this world, this hour will bring it on around your life, that you begin to work the way that God needs you to work and begin to use your life circumstance as a tool to change other people's life, as a tool to improve other people's life. You see, there was a, there's a great preacher we all know, Joyce Meyer. Why she can preach to you is because you hear her, about her stories and she has grown and above her circumstance. She rose up above her challenges and today she have, God has used her to turn around so many lives, to bring hope to so many lives. That is the same thing with you. God can also use the fragments to bring hope to people's life. God can use the fragments to restore your own household because right now you must have learned something from your, from your, from your challenges. It is only wrong when you don't learn anything from these ch challenges you face. Whatever you have been through, there's a lesson, there's a purpose for it. Go back to it and figure out why you went through that, that stuff and never go through it again. And by the way, I'd like you to also invite God into your life. He'll help you become conscious of your daily activities. That way, you'll be able to avoid circumstances that will bring shame or, or distress to you because the Holy Spirit will help you walk in ways that will transform you and walk in ways that will shield you away from temptation and away from the fairy darts of the enemy who is out there to cause you to walk in ways that will only bring about fragments. And what happens when you have lots of fragments falling apart? It means you may just end up losing hope. But I pray that today this word restores hope to you and you're able to look up to God for more restoration. Be blessed and shalom. And if you don't subscribe to my channel, I encourage you to hit the like button and subscribe. Please share this video to your friends and family and ask them to subscribe so that together we can share God's word and inspire others to live a better life. Shalom and God bless you. See you in my next video.